Hi everyone, it's Sarah from Plan Sarah Plan, and today I'm going to show you how I take my Erin Condren sticky notes and I print directly on them using my printer. So I've done this before and several of you have asked for a tutorial. So I thought I would take a few minutes to just do a really quick instructional video on how to do this. It's much simpler than you might think. What I'm gonna try first is taking one of these little corner sticky notes and using it for something that I know I will need in my planner this week, which is my mom coming over four different days. So what I'm gonna do is use just this word processing software. I use OpenOffice because it's free, but just use any word processor and type whatever it is that you want to go on your sticky note and approximate how far apart your words should be so that your sticky notes will be able to be placed on top of the text. So I've printed it out, and then as you can see, this sticky note will fit right on top of that text. So I placed all four of them on top, and then I run that same paper back through the printer again, and voila, now the printing is on the sticky notes. Now let's try this with something that's a little bit more complicated. So every week I do a memory verse and I write that out on the sidebar of my life planner. But let's say that I wanted to type it up and print it onto a larger size sticky note. Well, this is a memory verse that I'm going to use this coming week. So I'm just typing it out. And then after I type it out, I take a look at how I have it laid out and decide if that's going to fit the sticky note. And in this case, I think I need to make it more narrow and tall. So I'm just going to replace some of these words, just play around with it until I have it laid out in a way that I think will fit on the sticky note. And I think I would like to center this and maybe make the text a little bit larger. So um, if I get it wrong, the cool thing is you can just retry it. So after you print it, if you don't like what you came out with, just try it again. So I have run this through my printer, and then we will take a look and see if it's going to fit the sticky note that I have in mind, which is one of the longer uh, rectangular sticky notes. When you do this, it's very helpful to hold the paper with the sticky note on it on a lit surface such as your computer screen or a window with some sunlight coming through. And that way you can really get an accurate placement for the sticky note. So take your time doing that. And then once you have the sticky note placed exactly where you want it, you'll take it right back through the printer. And I used a higher quality setting when I put the post-it note onto the paper. And then it came out like this, exactly how I wanted it. So there you go. Pretty neat, right? Now, I also teach piano four days a week, so I'd like to go ahead and try to do this with piano. So just using the same procedure, I am using my Gen Plans font, by the way. You can get that on Etsy if you're interested in it. And then I put an eight there because every week I like to put one sticker on the weekly spread that reminds me what lesson number we are on for the week. And I will make that one kind of large. And then I'll type church to put on another sticky note. Run this through the printer. When I print it initially, I just use a fast setting just to see where those things are on the paper. Then I carefully place the sticky notes on top of the text. Then I, and then print it through again with the sticky notes. So I've come out with all of these pre-printed sticky notes that I can use in my planner spread. And if you need a little extra reinforcement, just go ahead and add some um, double-sided tape or something like this uh, glue tape runner from Erin Condren. And that is it. So I hope this has helped you to understand how you can print 
with your printer directly onto your sticky notes, and hopefully you'll be able to use them more often in your planner spreads. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.